Harlan Major was a superb tackle technician and a gifted entrepreneur of saltwater angling. When he moved to California following World War I, he discovered saltwater fishing, and he also discovered the perfect outlet for his innate mechanical skills, repairing fishing tackle. He started off selling rods, lures, and kites to local anglers, and before long, he opened a tackle shop that became the largest in Southern California. In 1929, Major headed east, where he introduced West Coast techniques like kite fishing to Montauk sports fishermen, including Tommy Gifford. And with Gifford as his guide, he landed one of the first sailfish taken on 3-6 tackle in Florida. Believing everyone should have the opportunity to fish, Harlan convinced railroad executives that special weekend trains running from Manhattan to Montauk would make money. During the summer of 1933, four trains transported excited passengers to the outstanding fishing on Long Island's tip. The following summer, more than 35,000 anglers traveled on these fishermen specials, which ran for more than 20 years. In 1935, Major persuaded Pan American Airways to finance a trip to Chile, promising to fill newspaper columns with fish stories guaranteed to spark travel to the destination. His pioneering visit and his two impressive broadbill catches paved the way for the learners Farringtons and Lou Marin, whose 1,182-pound swordfish caught there in 1953 remains the IGFA all-tackle record. Harlan Major was always experimenting with new techniques and sharing them with others. When Pan Am sent him to Guam in 1937, he showed the locals how to build an outrigger similar to the one used by Tommy Gifford, and with it, Major landed the island's second marlin. In 1939, Saltwater Fishing Tackle was published, a comprehensive story of tackle's development. It was the first book to detail technical aspects of design, construction, repair, and use, and it remains a classic reference. With the advent of World War II, Major began a campaign to ship free tackle to servicemen overseas. Volunteers sorted, repaired, and packaged more than 200,000 kits from the tremendous amount of equipment donated. For those at home, Harlan's 1942 book, Sure You Can Fish, explained how to make usable gear from toothbrushes, broom handles, paper clips, and spoons. Praised for his contributions to both troops and civilians, Major was proud of providing some pleasure and nourishment to both, and creating a few anglers in the process. As word of his expertise spread, the Norwegian embassy sent an unusual request. Could Major provide fishing equipment and basic instruction in its use to Thor Heyerdahl for his voyage from Peru to Polynesia on the raft Kontiki? Harlan could and did. When he died in 1968, Major had led a full and adventurous life. He was a writer, technician, and mechanic, passionate about the sport, but not driven solely by the catch, totally devoted to providing angling opportunities to and improving the luck of fishermen everywhere. The IGFA Fishing Hall of Fame honors Harlan Major, a true pioneer.